Hey everybody, Percy Patchett here, and I'm in the Transit Authority in New York City. Yes, I don't know, that's what it says here, New York Transit. I'm here with one of the brightest stars of the Broadway stage, Miss Amanda Rose. Hi. Okay, Higgins and I are here. We're gonna do a quick interview with Amanda, just to see, hey, how are you doing? Find out, do we're gonna pick her brain, like we were Chinese people and she was a noodle, and they were, they were the chopsticks. Amanda, so what show are you in right now? You tell us all about it. I'm in Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Just like the old movie. Mm -hmm. Exactly. From 1954. No. Nope. Longer ago than that. 1947. A little, bit, a little bit longer. 1936. Close. That was close. Shoot. It's a Christmas show. Technically, it's a holiday a show. A holiday show. Yeah, we do all the holidays. All the holidays. Do so you do the menorah? In no. the middle of the show, you, ooh, it's a Holiday Inn. That room's based on Christmas, and that one's not Menorah. We should have done that. We should have done that. You should take that to the director. I'll, I'm gonna call him. You should call him. You should definitely should. I'm not Jewish. I look Jewish. Who's you? Higgins is, ironically, he dated a Jewish girl for a small period of time. He does not like fire. Uh -huh. He's addicted to pies. Well, you saw a waitress earlier today. I don't know if you've seen that. It's a good one. They have pie. They have pie. They just hand it out. And I was like, no, Higgins. And he's just like, why are you clapping at me? I'm a cat. You're enjoying the show right, that you're doing oh, right yes. now. Oh, it's, it's so much fun. You're here in New York City, just like us right now. It is cold out. What do you think about the weather? I think it's too cold. Uh, very cold for those pants. Let me ask you this question. Higgins had this question for you earlier. We emailed you. I emailed you because he has no opposable thumbs. He can't hit the space bar. Oh. M, X, Q, and then nothing. Yeah. He can't spell the next word. I don't know what you spell M, X, Q. I don't know why he's just taking that. But... He enjoys uh, Superman and Mr. Mepixlick. If you can get Mr. Higgins to say his name backwards, he magically goes back to the seventh dimension or the eighth dimension. That is a true story. Huh. What was the question I was asking you? What was I asking you about? Holiday Inn. Okay, yeah, I know what I was talking about. So if you could pick any role from the beginning of Broadway to now, what role would you pick? Ooh. Uh, you can't pick the male role, so it's gotta be female. Oh. Unless you wanna do like, oh, Miss Sunshine from Chicago. Is that female? No, it's a male doing a, ch a no, female, a chick. I think I would choose Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon. You wanna be Miss Saigon? I wanna be Miss Saigon. You're like, that would be like Jonathan Press. Yeah. You'd be like, heck yeah, to heck with uh, racial stereotypes. Yeah, right? Colorblind casting. Heck yeah, colorblind casting. Uh, Black Annie with the head. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I would do that. Beasts of the Southern Wilderness or something like that. She was in that She first. was in that, yeah. She was in that. She was. She was Annie. You want to play Annie? Um, no, I'm okay not playing Annie. Okay. What part would you play? Tell me. I would play, Your dream role. Okay, so it would be Les Mis. Les Mis or Rob. Fontaine. Fontaine? Yeah. Not go stick. Because she's too young. She's too oh, Okay, yes. You're tiny. You're a tiny little girl. She she's young. so tiny. She wears a size negative six. <laughs> that is a true story. It's, you can't tell because she's wearing this marshmallow man coat from Ghostbusters. She's a tiny little girl. Sorry. I'm sorry. So not go but Fontaine. Fontaine. Yeah. You don't want to be a castle on a cloud. You want to dream no, a dream. I want to dream a dream. And then I'm gonna die and sit backstage. That would be amazing. Yeah, right? You give that musical too much credit. Because they gotta part the walls, they gotta bring out a whole lot of French people. Lots. French people are long winded. Victor Hugo, have you read that book? No. Do not. <laughs> Do not. Oh, the movie was too dang long. Yeah. Hugh Jackman was singing. He was just, they just needed to bring his keys down. Oh, it was so loud. Oh, oh my ears. So bad. And the Anne Hathaway just crying, going, I wonder how much money I'm getting paid for. She was like Ellen, Ellen Ripley from Alien 3. I felt like Hugh Jackman was just gonna like start singing and his mouth was gonna open so wide. A tinier Hugh Jackman was gonna yeah. chomp it away. Yeah.